epic intro music. Hello, Minwolves, hello, Convictus here, and welcome back to part 49 of my Rohan campaign, The Divide and Conquer, version 5. So I'm just going to get straight underway exactly where we left off last time and end the turn. We've moved everybody, and the next turn is going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. So Gondor looked like they're sending most of their forces down south for the stalemate against Kand. They did originally look like they might attack Dol Gildor, but it doesn't look like they're going to. Maybe if we finish off Mordor, it might kind of urge them to do something. Maybe they'll even break through the stalemate at Kand, although if somehow I highly doubt they'll do anything until we get there. <laughs> okay, so they didn't leave Zagkala to attack us. Forces. We'll have the Horse Breeders Guild at Anon in a rod, though. And Forlond, if we take that, we receive 2,000 gold coins, which is brilliant because it's currently empty <laughs> because we wiped it out last time. So we will just move into Forlond, we will sack it, and we'll start building the culture up with the standing stones. On the next turn, we'll be able to assemble another force. Okay, 65 when we take the Saralan out, so the Saralan can go back. Okay, so it's 75 public order on low tax rate, and we're building these standing stones. Now the construction report, we will go over this, of course. We've got a couple of level workers at Suduri and Karis Nunaled, the port at Swidhelm's Glory, the Lord's Hall of Dunderak, the Marshal Stables at Ginyard, the Chicken Apartment at Minas Ifil, and we've upgraded Osfisville to a stronghold, and we have the standing stones at Baradur itself. And I love that this is now all under Rohirric control. Okay, so we can build in a few of these settlements now too. Baradur is going to need the tomb. Honestly, we can get the tomb in Ossifil too. And then Minas Ifil and have the martial stables, I think. Yeah, I think we start recruiting the Eared Lancers here with the rest of the money. So we've moved everybody on every front. We are ready to end the turn again, and we're going to get to turn 125. Yeah, let's end the turn. Okay, so the Goblins of Moria have attacked us. They could win this. Yeah, look, they outnumber us more than two to one. Ah, their captain is in a warg pack, though, so it's captain versus captain, so we can still swing it. That's brilliant. Let's just get straight into it, because if we pull off a fantastic win and annihilate them, we have Zag Kala. Oh, wow, look at the map, look at the map. Okay, so they are sallying out of... Okay, this could be even better for us, then. It has begun. Let's just fast forward again. Okay, and we'll turn the javelins off of fire at will for the moment. Okay, so the archers are already firing on the goblin band. I think that's fine. Annihilate some of those guys. At least soften them up. I'll try to save. I'll try to conserve the ammo as well as possible. So like when they get down to about, let's say, 150, I will halt the fire and just charge into them. Okay, I'm just going to charge into them now and stop firing because we're going to conserve ammo here. And they're not bringing anything else out and the goblin band is weak. The 178 of them left. Uh, they're softened up. They are weak spears. And they don't think they even braced there. <laughs> we were a bit split up. Um, they are shaken. We're losing a couple of people because they're spears. But yeah. Okay, was hoping for a more dramatic charge there, if I'm being perfectly honest. They did veer off at the last second. Right, let's see what we can do. We can still mop them up. Come on, get a good charge, please. The feat seems almost certain. Okay, so it thinks we're going to lose. We're not. I can tell you that now. 
So they're bringing another unit of Goblin Band out next. Maybe the Eared Lancers weren't the best one to send into them. <laughs> Honestly, wasn't expecting them to get killed like that. I thought we were just going to smash through them. Okay, so let's start the archers firing again. I'd l rather shoot at the large group, though. Oh, the warp pack. The warp pack's there, look. A few of the wargs have got through. Did not notice that. Okay. Uh, shoot the warp. Shoot the goddamn wargs. Okay. They're not in range, so we're going to have to bring the javelins in. Okay. Okay, so the Riders of the Fold have got caught. This is not going quite as smoothly as I'd first anticipated. Um, whoops. You're supposed to be skirmishing, you see. They didn't even skirmish. Right, um... So, you guys hit the Goblin Band quickly. And then you guys moving over here, you three, you're going to have to just get over here and start throwing your javelins into the wargs. Okay, well... Um, okay, they're routing. Okay, so we've routed the goblin pans. Okay, stop firing. They're just the archers are just annoying. <laughs> they're supposed to be firing at like the other groups. So some of the walk pack are kind of in range a little bit. Okay, we're gonna have to get back out now for sure. Okay, you guys reform. Okay. Shoot them. Okay, you've got to get out, you've got to get out, you've got to get out. Javelins are now firing into the wargs. Yeah, let's see, the warg pack has already been halved there. And we know the captain is in wargs, but it's probably not in the front pack of wargs. So now we want you firing again. Okay, now you're going to hit that wall pack. Okay, so they have got us, but can, hopefully we can still throw the javelins enough. Yeah, they're down to 34 shouldn't have to do too much movement. I will pull them back. Okay, so that's good. So now we've got all this infantry to deal with. Um, can we move these guys over here? Okay, you guys get back. Okay, now let's have you guys try to line up down here and we'll try to pick some stuff off. Very interesting battle map, very interesting battle map. Okay. 
Okay, um, I've lost track of some of these guys, right? Okay, you guys get over there. Okay, we're gonna have to just do a bit of melee, I think. They might even route that. Yeah, okay, good. So, right, you guys get back out again. Oh, God, there's too many in the command. Okay. Uh, and then... Come on. Okay, so you're going to have to get out. You guys are going to have to charge. I think you three are going to have to charge into in. Get back. Okay. Maybe use some javelins. Yeah, let, oh, lots of stuff is routing now by the looks of it. Uh, let's just charge everybody in and then see what routes. Right, all on charge. See what routes. Come on. Oh, mountain orcs over there. Get back out. You guys get out. Getting too close. Okay, actually, we just need everybody back out now. That was chaos. <laughs> okay, we got the captain in there. We didn't really want that. Okay. So you guys get out. You guys get out and we'll form up again. Now the dwarves are kind of stuck in there, I think. Oh well. Right, the dwarves are going to have to go for the mountain Uruks, and then we're going to have to figure out a way past them. Okay, you guys that way, and then archers here. Okay, let's cycle charge some mountain orcs. Gonna have to just do it bit by bit. Okay, and out. That was actually a good charge, okay. You guys out. You guys in. Let's throw some javelins now, come on. Come on. Oh, they won't line up. There. Okay. Lost half their men, that's good. Okay. Now they're throwing javelins, we're still shooting with the archers. Looks like their morale is not good, which is what we need. The Sons of the Fallen are buying us time. No, what you doing? What you doing? Okay. 
Alright, Black Pit Infantry over here. Kill. Good, good, good. That's one more unit down. And look, maybe we can route the crossbows, look. For the moment, the fortune of battle goes yep, the crossbows are routed. Pray it remains as such. Yeah, look, mountain Uruks are routed, the crossbows are routed. We can, we can mop up a lot of them now. Good, good, good. It's going well, going well. We will come back as well because the Azog's defiler's there, so we will get everybody back out. And the dwarves are holding very strong. That's fine, that's fine. We need to get out anyway. Okay. Get a captain in for moral support. Okay, so let's line up again. Skirmishes on that side. Rest of you guys over here. Let's have a look at Azog's defilers. Right. Whoa, okay. I did not know that. Okay, we're going to get the captain in. Wow. Okay, so that is an elite warg unit. Did not know it existed. Okay, so we're going to get the bows as well. Um, you are going to throw javelins at them, for sure. And we'll send the dwarves into them too, because we don't want them charging any of us. Uh, with javelins as well, they should make kind of quick work of them. Dwarves, archers, and javelins together. Look. But that is still one of their best units. So we get rid of them. We might have even won the battle. Brilliant stuff. And look, they're not even firing now because the dwarves have engaged. Odd. <laughs> Honestly, there's only a few dwarves left. Just shoot them. Oh, they are routing now as well. So we didn't actually need to, but they're going to come back into place. So we might as well shoot them. And now the captain can come back. What have they got left, look? We've killed 96% of their army. Oh my god. Right, so we need to wait for them to come back out the gate. What's that? Goblin band. Okay, well, we can just send the six dwarves at them, honestly. <laughs> oh, no, they're running. Okay, that's okay. so we're going to have to bring the dwarves back and lure them out further. Let's advance time. We've got, like, half the battle timer left. We're definitely going to win. It's just a little bit of a wait. Captain Delish. <laughs> okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. The battle is very much in our favour. Victory will Okay, is that their last unit? I think we've won. Right, we can actually see inside Zag Callum, which is quite cool. This will be fun to defend us the goblins, I think. Behold how our cowardly uh, we will kill them all. We will kill them all. We want to make sure that we capture it. Now, can we finally get Man of the Hour? <laughs> we got a heroic victory with Captain Swiftlid. 1,477 killed, 1,000 captured. So, again, I think that is justified heroic. Another fantastic win. Iriad Lancers 116. Iriad Skirmishes 125. Ridimark Cavalry 128 with the win. Fantastic stuff.
The color captured. I'll take the 6,000, honestly. <laughs> They're a full stalemate. They're not getting past the dwarves, but the dwarves don't seem to be capturing Dale either. <laughs> Okay, so Leofen has finally got himself a wife. That took him some time, didn't he? Legendary commander. No time for weddings. <laughs> okay, Paul Turner's Guild at Kazadoom West. We'll have that. And Karasant Besieged. So we that means we've got to finish off Mordor as quickly as possible to save Dorwinian from the Easterlings. So Leofen married. He can start having kids, which means Irma will start getting grandchildren. Cavalry trained absolutely everywhere. Yep, new family member again, and yeah, rest of you expands for, well, look, even Freka has Doctor, look, Oswald, Elven friend, a lot of them are getting good stuff, Alfred has got Guard Dog. <laughs> and okay, construction reports, we have the Law Tall in Entwade, Aldberg is now a large city, we have the Level Worker in Fangorn, we've got a couple of ports, well, the Shipwright in Baradvin, Port in Byla. Western Los Gilead has the Meras Stables. The Cor Willishar and Buzzardoom have the communal farming. Yule's Stronghold has the stables. Theoden's Watch has chicken farming. And Morogost has the Hero Shrine. Now with the 55 grand, we're going to build a ton of buildings first. And then we're probably going to do the movement and do a huge battle at the end or something. So since we are here, we are going to move Goldwine into there. We're going to move Argolf out, and then we will establish the rest of the army on the next turn. Yes. Look, so we can get the Shield Maidens in Western Osgiliath now too. So I am going to build up the military over here. I will get the cavalry over here. You never know what we might need if we attack the Easterlings. They might try to come round for the Black Gate. You don't know. So we're going to get those two cavalry units. And we are also going to get the Marshall Stables. The population growth is in order and they're surrounded by other settlements. So I don't think this one's ever going to get attacked. Theoden's Watch, a similar sort of thing. The population growth has kind of leveled now. So we will get the Stables. Morogost, the population growth still needs to level. Look, I think we will get the chicken farming just to try to sort that settlement out. Dunlarac. I will get the roads in Dunlarac. I'm going to try to get a bit more economy going. Swidhelm's Glory can have the all oh, the great markets. Uh, I always like the farming though. Let's get the crop rotation. It's a little bit cheaper. Byla can have roads too. Cor Willishar can have the roads. Buzzra Doom can have the dirt paths. Karis Nernalid can have the barracks. Siduri can have the barracks too. Baradvin can have roads. Fangorn Camp can have roads. Ginyard can have roads. We'll get roads everywhere. Entwade can get the Mason's Guildhouse. Aldberg. Aldberg can have the Royal Hall because then we can get the final level of stables as well over there. Oh, we're not building in Western Osgiliath. We couldn't see that. Okay, so we'll get the communal farming over there. And then we are building absolutely everywhere. Let's go ahead with the battles. Should we do Tomter first? This is getting Tomter some experience. He's got 2,300 men, basically. There's no way he's going to lose. We just have to eliminate Catapult, and then the Orc Scouts have the Captain. This is a perfect one to train Tondair. Okay. Then, hopefully, two units of cavalry is enough to sort this out. Yeah, it looks like it is. They're already leaving the Catapult open, so we will get all the way back around. Yeah, yeah, so they're already firing us. Let's hope they miss most of their shots for the moment. Because we can't do anything about it. And then the captain was in Orc Scouts. So the captain's actually running forward at them. Oh, they've hit our spear line. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, you guys knock out that catapult now. And then you guys get into guard mode. And then you guys start coming over here. And you guys start coming over here. And the oh, these ones can get slightly more isolated. Uh, because the cavalry can come back and support them. Okay. 
So the catapult should go completely down to these guys with no trouble. The archer should annihilate a lot of that stuff too. Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. You're gonna have to get rid of them because we we know that even three guys left alive can still man the catapult. Okay, so we've got Moran and Garden Orc host going at these guys. So we're gonna have to send the cavalry back for them. I think we could probably risk hitting the archers on the way back. Because orc archers will probably rout. And they should be alright. Axemen and swordsmen. Okay, you get into the back of them, and you just charge at their captain, honestly. And then orc archers, they're not even black uruks. These orc archers should just get annihilated. All oh, the halberds are already routing, that is fantastic, because they're obviously a good unit, as you know. And then we can stop the archers firing, I think. Good yep, so now they're all going to rout, basically. Good win. Nice, easy win for Tonter. The enemy are badly bloodied. And he better get some... He better get something for that. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've still got a win over there, look. Okay, and... And why haven't we won the battle? That means I've still... Okay, we have now. Good. <laughs> So Tond here can go at those guys, and you guys can keep running down these ones. And then once I'm confident they're not going to escape, I will fast forward time. And he is gaining experience, he's got three silver chevrons, look. Uh, as you can see, a very good win, quite an easy one. 109 kills for the Eared Swordsman, 124 for the Eared Skirmishers, nice. 310 prisoners caught too, so they pretty much wiped out the army themselves. But that's a nice picture of the eagles from The Hobbit. With Gandalf in the tree there, look. <laughs> we're going to fight this one. But yeah, because they've got great beasts and trolls, we're going to use this army. And we are going to control these guys in the battle too, but we're not going to use them. Once we get rid of the great beasts, they lose their captain. Then the trolls are the only thing to worry about and everything else will rout. So this should be easy enough. We've just got to manage the great beasts properly because they can make our whole army rout. So we've got to be careful. More careful than usual. <laughs> okay, don't go any further. Now fire. And the archers should be doing their skirmishy thing. Okay, careful, careful, careful. You're getting a bit close. You're getting a bit close. But I do trust that you'll start getting kills. Yep. Taken down one of them, look. Right, let's see what's going on with the rest of them. They should all be skirmishing properly. And then we'll have to figure out the trolls. I'm quite happy to bring everybody back in now. Because I don't feel like the Great Beasts are going to do anything. Um, yeah, let's go that way. And we will keep an eye on them. Because they can still get hit by the Orc Coast. Even though it is only Orc Coast. Come on, let's take them out. Yep, another one down. Yep, the captain's down. Yep, come on, still only two. One left, they are all dead. That is brilliant. Right, so now we can go find the trolls and throw the rest of the javelins into them, I reckon. Yeah, I think that's the best bet. So we're going to bring you guys round over here. That is how you deal with Great Beast successfully. 
Okay, so you... F well, let's just get a bit closer first. Because the Maulers host, it's all going to go down easily. There's some how two units of halberds, I think. Yeah, but for the most part, it's not... It's all not much to worry about. Look, they're all weakened. They should start going down as well now. You guys get out, because you're getting well caught up. Um, and we're going to have to start relieving the line. Man and guard over here. Again, maybe we just hit the back of them there. Okay, so they're bringing out Orc Host, which is fine. So you guys hit the Maulers, and then you guys hit the Orc Host, and that should all route. And honestly, Moranengard, you hit the Moranengard. And then we'll just have to watch the trolls. Okay, they're routing. They should pretty much route instantly too. They will now. Okay, so what are the trolls doing? Um, okay, look, they're down to three trolls, so they have all been shot to death, which is good. Get the riders of the fold out. And what are we doing? Oh, yeah, we told them to do that. That's good. And then you guys just, I think, melee the, them from the other side now. Okay, get out, get out, get out. Black Urks. Okay, they're routing. Um, you want Skirmish back on and fire, I think. Okay, we don't want them charging into those guys either, though. Right, uh, what have we got here? What have we got here? Okay, so that was definitely not intentional because I never charged the Halbards. Um, I feel like they're out of formation. I feel like we just give it a go. If we turn on them, they could route. Um, where are the trolls? Okay, so three trolls over there. You guys can hit the host, honestly. Um, and there's more units over here, so you get over there. And, yeah, we're going to have to get these guys out. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. Okay, so, whoa, 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 okay. Yeah. You guys need to get out. And then... Yeah, you guys, I, want, I do want them out too. Let's, yeah. Oh no, because they're supposed to be firing the javelins, okay. Okay, the halberds did break, so that was good. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Uh, into them. Maybe they can all route those Black Urks quickly as well. And then we've got the Halberds, the Black Urks. I think, honestly... Um, oh, let's just charge everybody into them. They'll probably route. Wavering, they will route as soon as these guys get in. They're fresh units. Yeah, they're already routing. Um, they're getting destroyed. They're halberds. 47 running guard over there. Not going to do anything. Which which way are these guys facing? Let's hit them. Uh, let's hit them with both sides too. And there could still be trolls somewhere. There was three trolls before, but they're probably dead now. Okay, so the trolls are clearly dead. Good. So that is a that's a very good win actually, considering the great beasts. Happy with that. 
So we'll end there. We'll look at the results. Only 82 men lost. That was brilliant. 104 kills for the Rohirrim archers. 192 for these Rohirrim archers. There you go. We will execute them and then we will march closer to their settlement. Let's see if we get the spy back again. We can. Okay, and we'll kind of hope that they sally. They don't have anything scary in there, look. Ooh, okay, so scouting over here, we've spotted this guy, so we'll kill them. And then we'll basically just siege them down until we get some infantry over here. But yeah, I think uh, that's it for this one. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe. And remember, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram.